How's it going guys? We're excited for tonight. So we're not doing a Wednesday night game night. Tonight we are finally doing our question and answer that has been a long time coming. We're finally going to answer your guys' questions. You guys asked, we're answering. We deliver. <laughs> okay, so we have some questions right now and I'll answer them. The first question, how did Tara and I meet? Okay, so it's a long story. We're going to try to really shorten it. But um, I had a roommate when I was at Dixie State that was from Logan and we became good friends and she decided she was coming back up to Logan and I needed a change and I just said, I'll come with you. And then... And so I was friends with this girl that Tara made friends with. In high school. In high school. So I just barely got back from my mission, which answer another question within an question. answer. Oh, an answer. I served my mission in Argentina, specifically in the city of Rosario. <laughs> Rosario. <laughs> uh, anyway, so got back from my mission and I don't know how I got in contact with Holly, but we decided we we're going to go to an event up at Utah State University together. So Holly decided to bring this really hot friend of hers named Tara. And uh, anyway, Tara wasn't super interested in me. She said I stared at her during this whole show that we went to. He did. The whole time. I'm I didn't look at her you. once. No. I was sitting like three seats down. I'm not kidding you. He was like this. No, I wasn't. I was watching the yes, magician. Was. It was he a magician. He was looking at me. The magician was over there and he was looking at me leaning over. It was I don't remember that. But <laughs> so Tara wasn't super interested in me when we first met because she thought that I was like, a true freshman in college, which I was. She thought I was like too young to date. Yeah. But I was like a 21 year old freshman <laughs> because I'd served my two year mission. So then when she found that out, she was more interested. Cool. So after that show was over, Tara and I didn't really talk. I think you like came up to me and said it was nice meeting yeah, you. Yeah, we were outside and Tara, I went up to Tara and was like, hey, it was nice to meet you. I'm a very cordial person. She was like, yeah, it's nice to meet you too. She's like, you're a freshman, right? And I said, yeah. It's like, 10,000 freshmen on There's campus. So many. She's like, my cousin is a freshman. Do you know him? And I was like, what's his name? She said, Sean Duffy. And of all the freshmen, he was a true freshman, like me, like he was like 18, just graduated from high school. Mm -hmm. Out of all the freshmen up there, I didn't know any of them except for Sean Duffy. I know. And the only crazy. And the only way that I knew him is because we met at a freshman orientation. So they made me, Utah State made me go to this stupid freshman class. I was like the only 21 year old there. And all the return missionaries, yeah. I'm sure. Okay, so I sit next to Sean and I, he told me his last name was Duffy. Yeah. I was like, Duffy, I've seen that last name before. Like, it's not super common. Then I thought, oh my gosh, when I was on a, my mission, an Argentine church member gave me a tie mm -hmm. that had Elder Duffy right on the back of it. And well, the reason why I got this tie is because I was working one day in Argentina and one of the members said I had the ugliest ties that he had ever seen. Okay, side note, Michael followed the mission rules and he took them very seriously and he bought the plainest ties that you could get. The most plain the ties most plain. ever. Like we got married and he was showing me his ties and I'm like, you can never wear those. Those are going. And right now all of those ties are in a bag underneath the bed because he would not never to be he seen. He would not let me get rid of them. So hopefully someday I'm gonna make him a quilt out of his mission yeah, ties. Someday. Anyway, <laughs> so he told me I had the ugliest ties. So I went to church on Sunday and he gave me a tie. And the tie on the back said, from Elder Duffy to Elder Ravello. And Elder Ravello was the the guy that gave me the tie. Wasn't an elder anymore, he was a returned missionary that lived in Argentina. So I asked, and this missionary, this return missionary got the tie in Tijuana, where he served his mission. Tijuana, Mexico. Tijuana, Mexico. So it turns out, I asked Sean, I said, did you know an Elder Duffy that served a mission in Tijuana, Mexico? Because that's where he would have got the tie. And he said, yeah, my older <laughs> brother served his mission in Tijuana. <laughs> it's so crazy. So, that was like, the, that's when Tara and I hit off, was when she asked me who, if I knew who Sean was, then we like, were kind of interested in each other. Yeah. Well, and, and then I, I was like, oh, he knows my cousin Sean, I'll add him on Facebook. So then she added me on Facebook, but this time was in Idaho, mm -hmm. then it went to Tijuana, yep. then it went to Argentina. Rosario, Argentina, 
And then I brought it back to the United States and I have it. I, it's, it's in our closet. It's a crazy story. Like my mom was like, eh, I'm sure you're dating him. I'm sure you really like him. Cause I was telling her like, I'm in love mom. I'm in love. And she's like, yeah, whatever. And I told her this story of the tie and she was like, it's true love. It's meant to be. <laughs> it's meant to be. All of my aunts were like, after they heard the story, oh my gosh, it's meant to be. <laughs> so we feel like, like that tie story was like our connection. like. That and Holly, like my friend who was my roommate down in Dixie, at Dixie, her, her name's Holly. They were our connections and we're so grateful for them. Yeah, that's the long story of how we met. How long have Tara and I been married? So Michael and I got married May 19th, 2012 in the Logan, Utah Temple. And we, our actually anniversary is tomorrow on Thursday. Four years on Thursday. Four, 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 Boom. four, four. Crazy. Crazy. So wish Tara, especially Tara, happy anniversary. No, wish Thursday. him a happy anniversary. Say thank you for putting up with Tara for four years and more to come for the eternity. <laughs> and, and tell Tara thank you for putting up with Michael and his weight gain over the last <laughs> couple years. Where have we lived and why did we live there? Perfect. So we've lived really three different, I guess, two different places on three different occasions. Yeah. Now. So first we lived in Logan. We were married here. And we lived here while I finished school. Mm -hmm. Then in my school, I got an internship in Senator Hatch's office in Washington, D.C. So that's why some of you have seen some of our videos from D.C. Right. That's where we started our vlogging adventures. Yep. So I had the internship in Senator Hatch's office. Then I got a job working for a national association. In DC. In and Washington DC and it was awesome. We loved our time there. We were there for just shy of two years. Yeah. And then I got a job offer here in Logan, working for the company I'm like working at now. And here we are again. And that's why back we're back in Logan. So the next question, why did Tara and I, especially Tara, decide to start vlogging? Yeah. Okay, so it goes along with where we lived. So we lived in DC, which is on the East Coast, really far from our family. And we have good friends that we would watch their videos and I was like, this is so cool. Like they have so much footage of their of their memories. Of, you know what I mean? And I just thought it was so cool. And I begged and begged and begged. For two years. For two years for Michael to start, for us to start vlogging. And one thing that finally Mike got Michael rolling is he was like, okay, if you edit, <laughs> <laughs> then we can start vlogging because he had a full-time job like I got it and I'm a mom and I totally have a full-time job but when I'm using his naps I'm able to edit so I taught myself editing and I'm still learning and I love it so yeah so we decided to make videos because we were so far away we wanted people our family and friends to see moments of MJ growing up because we didn't know how long they were gonna be over there and now we just really love it because it's home videos and my family was really good at home videos but we'll sit there for an hour and watch like nothing. Like us just running around the park or watching a basketball game and then finally the last two minutes someone makes a shot. <laughs> so it's like I get to edit down all of that like non-fun footage and just get like the climax points. Yeah. And that's why I like it. And Tara's super good at it now. She's I love loves editing. editing and as you guys can see in her videos, she gets better and better with each one. I like it. I learn. I'm studying about it. Like I'm learning more things from it. It's fun. It's really fun. Oh, and is it a group effort? That was one of the questions too. <laughs> to be honest, uh, sometimes I remember to pull out the camera, but Tara's yeah. the one that's really good. And Tara will be like, okay, today we're vlogging. We're going to make sure we get all the footage. And she's the one that like, she's the boss. I like it. She's project manager, CEO, <laughs> chief inspiration officer. She is the vlogging queen of our family. Well, Michael just doesn't remember. So if I want something filmed, I just hand him the camera. Be like, well, hey, film. And my life's pretty boring. I mean, for eight hours a day, I'm sitting at a desk. <laughs> so there's true. not a lot to really <laughs> That's film. true. What does MJ stand for? All of you guys are asking, what does MJ mean? Like, where did MJ come from? And everybody always asks, like, is it Michael Jackson? No. <laughs> Is it Michael Jordan? Yes. No. No. I, but he's gonna play ball like Michael Jordan. MJ stands for Michael Jonathan. He's actually the third. So you might have seen like some hashtags where like MJ3 because my dad's senior, I'm junior, and MJ is the third. And so my dad goes by Mike. 
I'm Michael, and then we have Little MJ. And the reason why he goes by a nickname is in my family and in his family, there's tons of Mikes and Michaels, and I was like, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Like, and Michael was like, I have to name my firstborn son. It was part of our the marriage. Third. It was part of our marriage contract. No, it pretty much should have been. <laughs> no, there's and so no I was con like, there's no contract. There was it. But he was like, please, please, please. And so I was like, okay, well, he has to be called something else. He can't be called Mike or Michael or whatever. So I like came up with this nickname. I was like, MJ, like Michael Jonathan MJ. And we fell in love with it because it's MJ3. Like all of my hashtags are MJ3. Yeah. If he doesn't want to be called MJ when he grows up, no big deal. It was we'll for- Call him Johnny. <laughs> it was for my sake. So through his growing up life, however, whenever he wants to ever change his name, if he does, back to Michael or whatever, It'll just help me to be like, okay, distinguish between his dad and his grandpa and him and uncles and everything. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Okay, this one's hard for me because I have tons of places that I want to travel, but I think I would love, I know this is kind of more like a bigger answer, but I would like to just go to Europe and do like a Europe trip. I know that's like a big, vague answer, but I can't decide where I could go. Like I wish I could have all the money and just go for a month and travel around Europe, do a week, everywhere. Well, I would go with you. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool, huh? I think that I'd go back to Argentina. I knew he was I'd go back. Say that. I wanted to go back, it's just like so I expensive. I knew it. Oh my and gosh. I've always wanted to go to Europe, I've always wanted to go to like China, but like I- China? Yeah. But if I'm, if I, like, I fell in love with that country and I lived there for two years and I miss it and I just want to go back so bad. Next question. When will MJ be a big brother? Okay. This is Tara's question to answer. <laughs> it's up to her body. It's my body. It's my body that has to carry that thing for nine months. I'm not a pregnant person. I... <laughs> Wait, you can't say that. It's a big about a pregnant person. Finish, and then you'll understand. I'm not a pregnant person Listen, either. I don't like, I wouldn't go up to someone and say, oh, pregnancy, it's the most beautiful thing. I loved it so much. No, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard on your body. It's hard on your mind. It's hard on your, your husband. husband. <laughs> it's both so hard. <laughs> so anyways, so I... I'm giving my body time to recuperate and my hormones time to recuperate and MJ. Um, our camera just turned off. Whoops. Really sorry. I don't know why it turned off, but it did. Are we ever going to have a pet? The answer is yes. And the answer is also we should have already had a pet a long time ago. Yes. Yeah. In an extreme moment of weakness, <laughs> I promised Tara that within our first two years of marriage, I would buy her a cat. <laughs> so I put it off and put it off, and then we moved to DC, mm -hmm. and we couldn't have a pet in our apartment, and it's super expensive to have pets there. And when Tara got pregnant, I said, "There's your cat. <laughs> like, no, there's seriously. your cat for the next little while." Like, we don't need a pet anymore. We're gonna have a baby. We have plenty on our hands. And I was totally fine with that at that point. So at some point, when we have a house. We will get a cat, and we would also like to have a dog. We're gonna get a cat. And we'd also like to have a dog, like yeah. not not like a tiny dog, but like a good sized dog that like can play yeah. and go, go camping hikes. and swim maybe and just all that kind of go fun stuff. Go on runs and with Michael. Just be like MJ's second, like his best bud. This is the last question. Drum roll. Dude, Tara and I have a five year plan. And if so, what is it? So actually, so I had Michael read over the questions before we did the video because I wanted him to like know where we were coming from. And, and he goes, we don't have a five year plan. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I guess we do. I just want to get to tomorrow. My plan is to get to tomorrow. I, I was like, yeah, we do. And he's like, what? What's our five year plan? And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like dying. I could not believe that he didn't think we had a five-year plan. Tara, so, sorry, Tara's my personal planner. Yeah. This is all in her head. No, I make Michael's to-do list because and she like emails them to me. <laughs> and then if I she checks me every night to see if I've done stuff, and usually I haven't, and then I get in trouble. No, I just 
I yeah. like to I like to do lists. I like lists. I like to be organized with my life. I have a little bit of control of what I can have control so, of. So Tara has a five minute, a five day, a five month, and a five year plan. <laughs> so we'll just do the five year for you. Okay, so yes. We want to be in a house. Yes. Hopefully sooner than five years. Hopefully like next year is like in the next plan. year, so yeah. yeah. And then we want to get another car because we are just a one family car right now and it would be nice to have two cars. But we're making it work. We're making good. it totally work. And we'd like to have another kid before. And possibly a pet. And possibly a pet if we're in the house. <laughs> That's so, our plan. And I feel like it's a really good one. Like when I told Michael that he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking like we don't have like a written out no. five year plan. No. It's all in that. <laughs> That's this is that better. Is this is better than Very right reliable. Now. <laughs> very I call her old reliable. What? You guys, I am married to the weirdest guy ever. Like I love him, but he's the dorkiest, funniest guy. I always when he makes these funny jokes, I always say have like Have you never heard of old reliable? No! So like in the Old West you call your girl right. Old Reliable? When you're an old man and you watch the Old West movies, then you can make those jokes. I watch them. Him and his dad like make the... She doesn't say dumbest jokes. Dumbest jokes. <laughs> but they make them up on the spot and you just kind of look at them and just like... <laughs> Comment below if you thought Old Reliable was funny. Or if you got it. Like if you got it. Because I was like... Oh. I love my Young Reliable. <laughs> You guys, we're celebrating four years of marriage tomorrow, Thursday. Yeah. You guys, it's gonna be awesome. We're well, kind of. We're not gonna really celebrate it till the weekend. Yeah, we're gonna do the weekend. My parents are. We're just gonna be our first overnight away from MJ. Yeah. My parents are gonna take MJ for the night. Turn and go get some dinner, do some shopping, maybe go to a movie, and we're gonna go to breakfast in the morning and then pick up MJ. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We hope that we answered your questions with good answers that didn't lead to more questions. But if they did, we can always do another question and answer video. And feel free to send us emails or a comment. We'd be happy to answer any more questions for you guys. Yes, we love your comments. You guys are so nice to us. You guys are the best. All right, peeps. We will see you on Friday. Peace, peeps. Bye, peeps.